Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about NMN and what you need to think about if you're going to want to supplement with NMN. What is NMN, you might ask? Well, if you're in the anti-aging movement, you probably already know about it. So I'm not going to go into that in this video. But basically, in March of um, 2017, a group of scientists came forth showing that NMN, which is nicotinamide mononucleotide, is a substance that is a precursor to NAD. NAD is a substance that we have in our body, in our mitochondria. It helps us with the metabolism. We, we cannot survive without it. But the thing is that as we age, the amount of NAD that we have in our body decreases. So it's related to aging in some ways. And uh, it was shown that indeed uh, the studies that were done on mice showed incredible results. Uh, things like the equivalent of a 60 year old, uh, in a human year, 60 year old, but then a mouse, uh, would be brought back to the same levels of uh, vitality, strength, and performance as a the equivalent of what would be a 20-year-old human and uh, in a very short period of time. So it almost looked like there was a reversal of aging. And uh, these results have been also related to age-related diseases. So they improve all of the diseases that usually come with age seem to be helped in a way. Not all of them, but some of them, at least. And so um, it seems like a miracle substance, however, it is very new and it has not been studied on humans. It is being studied on humans right now, but there are the studies are not out yet because this is so new. So because it has doesn't seem to have any obvious side effects, people are becoming becoming excited and they want to try it. So what is the downside? What could be the problem with this? So if you're one of the adventurous spirits uh, who's into anti-aging and uh, into experimenting on themselves, you might want to take that supplement. This is not recommended by anyone at this stage, even though a lot of people are taking it, because there are no studies and we really don't know what might be uh, going wrong. However, there, is, there are some concerns. So one of the things that people are talking about are related to methylation. Now this is a process that goes on in our body, a lot of it in the liver, and the idea is that we have methyl donors, so they, they donate methyl groups, and if you supplement with NMN, there is a concern that maybe you will deplete the methyl donors because the, the products that will remain will be um, methylated and so you might use up your methyl donors and if you use up your methyl, methyl donors a lot of things in the body will start to go wrong so that might be a problem. Now we're not sure about this because for instance, you have niacin, which is B3, vitamin B3, and you have um, nicotinamide uh, riboside, which is very similar in a way, and yet very different, has a completely different molecular weight, and seems to affect, and they, are, they both become methylated in the end, and yet they seem to affect the liver somewhat differently uh, when studies are done on both of them. and so. We're not really sure what will happen, but this could be, methylation could be a concern. So, what do you need to do? do. So if you are the adventurous spirit that is going to take NMN, here is what you might be interested in doing. Before you start your supplementation, you want to check your blood and then as you supplement, also check your blood. What do you check for? Well, you want to check for uh, the de depletion of methyl donors. How do you do that? Well, one way, one thing you want to look for is homocysteine levels. So if your homocysteine levels go up, 
This might be an indication that you're starting to deplete your methyl groups. That's one, homocysteine. Then you can look for direct um, methyl donors, such as methionine. You can check for that directly in the blood. Uh, betanine, you can check for that directly in the blood as well. And then, um, so that's three things. And now the fourth thing you want to do is you want to check your liver. You want to make sure that it's working properly. And so you want to check your AST and ALT levels. These are both related to the functioning of the liver. And because a lot of methylation goes on in the liver, you want to check for that because there are indications that there may be a fatty liver if um, if uh, your um, methyl donors become depleted uh, that might lead to that or a malfunctioning of the liver and you don't want that. So this is something that may be interesting to do if you decide that you want to supplement with NMN. How much should you take if you supplement with NMN? Of course there are no studies so nothing can really be said but it's interesting to note that the leading scientist on this himself uh, is I think right now taking a one um, 1000 milligrams so a gram of uh, NMN per day I think before he was taking 500 so half a gram uh, and I hear that there are people taking but starting out lower starting out maybe 250 and then after a while if they feel good well they then then they supplement with more so um, these are the values and uh, this is not something that has been studied so this is not something that is recommended but also um, an interesting point here is that it may be interesting to take it together with, with uh, resveratrol Half of the amount that you're taking of uh, NMN, you would take of resveratrol as well. Um, anyways, so this video is just a short video t to tell you what you may want to watch out for. So, you may want to, again, watch out for depleting your methyl donors. And so you check homocysteine, you check methionine, you check betanine in your blood, all of these, and also in your blood AST and ALT levels, which have to do with how your liver functions. Alright, I hope that this has been helpful, and uh, see you in the next video.